All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're playing some Volibear top lane again in the newest patch. We're running into the Aurelia matchup this time, and for the Runes, we are running PDA instead of Lead of Tempo. We got Triumph, we got Alacrity, Last End, Boneplate, also Overgrowth. Now, this is a uh, matchup where you have to go into bone plating, for sure. Bone plating is going to make this matchup like 10 times more winnable. Because the only way for Aurelia to proc it is by uh, using W or E. And she's not going to do that, so. Let's see if we can go for a fight here. Hmm. Yep. I already won. No ignites, no potions, nothing. I literally only use my auto tech and my E. <laughs> I love Volibear. Nice. Fantastic start. If you can actually get a kill like this uh, and you can keep your ignite, it's the best thing ever. Okay, and we're gonna go table and boots. And we're gonna go for movement speed a bit early. I can use that so I can get like more optimal trades in. Now, recently, I have seen, like, a very large amount of people, uh, uh, both in the YouTube comments as well as the Twitch chat, asking for Volibear. So many people. It's actually surprising to me how many people want to see this stuff. Like, Volibear is currently so strong, and I've been saying that for absolute decades, but this champion is beyond unbalanced. It is truly unfair. Like, this champion is extremely popular especially in the higher elos once this champion's being locked in there's nothing you can do most champions cannot beat this champion there's too much damage the, the shield everything is too insane on this champ and this Arvali, it this Arvali just can't win there's no way that Arvali can ever win against me because whenever Aurelia is gonna like try and apply the stun on me and she jumps in I will literally just combine QE together. There's no way she can win. My stats, everything is better. Like, my damage, everything. My shield is so massive that she has to wait for a very long time to, for the shield to run out. It's like an automatic free win. I'll see if I can hold it by using my E right here. There you go. This is a very, very important freeze, by the way. Because it actually denies the Aureli even more. I'm going to place a board down right there. I want to see if she's actually walking from the bush. But yeah, if you want a really solid way of countering your opponent, instead of like picking Renekton and all the other stuff, just pick Volibear Mount. Pick this champion. Oh, I accidentally didn't hit my stun. I dropped it on the wave instead. Whoops. Okay, now we're going to use potions. This is a very important moment. We're going to get into a fight here. I'm going to see if I can keep my passive fully procced. If this doesn't turn into a fight, then I'm going to backport and get my items. So, no fear. It's okay if we don't get a trade. It's okay if we don't get to all-in. Because at the end of the day, we will get my items. Let me check here. What's the Teemo on the river? Um... I'm going to use another potion because I think our value is going to look into all ending. I need to have as much HP as possible. Okay, very good. If I can get her low here, I can actually die from her tower with uh, jungle. Hmm. Wait a second. Ah, I could beat them right here, but there's a team OQ that can stop me. Very well done. That's fine. I'll drag it like this. Ah, it's not gonna work. I have to push this. Remember, I have too much gold right now. This is a problem. Uh, this dive is not very good because she can charge. Uh, she can charge her W. This gank is not gonna work. It won't. I could maybe bait, because she will hit level 6 right here. Okay, he already backed off. I've got my E ready just in case. I really wish that I could have, like, dived on the tower in my ultimate. That would have been awesome. But Teemo happened to be right there. 
right as I want to like try and dive. So it's okay. Uh, we're going to go into the Nash's Tooth. And I will actually go for this. Yeah, there we go. Smart Revelia for shoving this out. Now, I'm being asked this question a lot. Uh, why not tank Volibear? Why not AD version? Why do I always run AP? You guys have been asking this question so often. AP Volibear is better. Like, in terms of um, snowballing the game, it is the best thing you can do. Like, tank Volibear and AD Volibear are very good, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the Rod of Ages build 2, very good. Never, everything is very good. But these builds, they do have a problem. Especially if you go like like for the tanky version. They do have a problem. You don't get to snowball that hard. Especially the AD version is the worst in my opinion on this. You don't 1v5 the game going tank Volibear. I've done that before. I've, I've done it several times. But I never get to have a good game... As much as I do if I go AP version. AP version is risky. But you can get the biggest 1v5s done. And any person that plays AP knows what I mean. This is the best version. Hmm. There you go. I'm going to put some points in my queue right here. Uh, seems like we're being ganged, which is not good. Okay. Uh, the <laughs> I love my support. I love my support. <laughs> Let's go, man. Oh, what pink shall I do? <laughs> I don't know anymore. That was awesome. <laughs> nice. My support made by day. <laughs> All right, let's go back. I hope I am not going to lose the the plate here, but I think I will. An enemy has been slain. I'm just going to walk away. I'm just going to go mid lane to stop my Trinomere, I guess. Should have picked up the Kenan. Yeah, I rarely is in mid lane right now. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't really care if my mid laner is going to die right now. It seems like he's actually not dying at all. But this is good for me because not only do I get plates, but he's also going to lose the wave here. So it's not as bad as you think it is. <clears throat> Check it out. Like, um, I really is going to go back top lane right now. I'm, I'm, I can either like prevent her. Oh, teleport. Not bad. Okay. Well, her teleport was actually a good play. Never mind. My play was uh, not necessarily much better. If she didn't teleport, it would have been awesome. I'll drag the wave again. Uh, we have no vision, so Teemo can actually gank my lane. Yeah, very good. I'm gonna dive this Aurelia under tower soon. I'm just gonna wait for the next wave to arrive, and then I'll hit my R button by uh, pushing it. Yeah, here we go. I need to keep my passive proc right now. We're going to dive under tower with ult. Are we ready? Okay, let's go. There you go. Volibear is the best champion in the entire game if it comes down to like diving people under tower because the ultimate basically allows that to happen. My ultimate is made for the for the tower, man. It's the purpose. Like the ultimate is made for diving. That's the purpose of it. So like once you snowball with the AP build, it's not much that your opponent can do anymore. I'm just gonna delete them. Just make sure you hit the ultimate close to the turret. 
if you do what I do. Okay, walk away. Uh, let's go for the Nash's Tooth and then afterwards for... Okay, I'm gonna let him do this. Um, afterwards, we're gonna build into Magi. Let's go. And we're gonna go into Ravenous probably for third. It really depends. We can also go Riftmaker on uh, third, but I think I'm gonna go Ravenous. Because I think it's going to be a very snowball game. I think I'm probably going to get like a lot of stacks on Magi very quickly. So if I then like combine that with Ravidans, I'm going to get some pretty crazy damage off. Okay, let's go. Okay, one more. Uh, very quick question. Is there a reason for not using your Q to reset autos while being under tower or hitting the tower? Yes. If I hit my Q while being under tower, I don't have it ready anymore. So if I, if somebody like tries to stop me, I don't have my Q anymore. That is a big problem. You should, like I've had that question before and people even like i've seen a few youtube comments where people even get mad at me for not using my abilities on the tower like not just on volibear but like on different champions as well guys you can't do that you can only do that if you know that you're alone and you know there's no one around you like not being surrounded by anybody like you can't just drop your abilities down on the tower because it's going to make you like vulnerable like very easy to all in it's very bad. You don't want to do this. It's the same thing like casting your abilities on the wave. It's the worst thing you can do. Because it puts you in a position where they're on cooldown. So like, it's not a good idea. You got to be very strategic about how you use it. Always be strategic about when you use your abilities. So don't just drop it on the wave randomly. Instead, like keep it. Of course, it's really uh, dependent on the situation, but... Nice. Yeah, it's completely unplayable for Aurelia. Nice. And here we go. And let's get the tower away. I'm gonna position on this side, so in case Aurelia's gonna come in, I'll just drop the full combo down. Can I get it, please? Oh, got it. Okay. We have like 2.7k. I can nearly get my... And uh, now nah, I don't have ult, so I'm not gonna do this. Pick it up. Very good. Oh, so apparently like really is not here. So how much more like 500? Yeah, okay, I need like 500. I can make that happen. Let's pick up this camp here too. And then we go back top lane. Still got that blue, so like I'm not really running out of mana this game, which is awesome. That's nice. Oh, whoops. 150 more, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I, can, I guess I can just stay around for like one more wave. Just one more. Yeah. 
Yeah, there you go. I've got Rabidans. I've got Nash Astute, Magi, Rabidans, all at 16 minutes in the game. <clears throat> that is insane. That is really early. This is like the fastest, uh, uh, the fastest time to to get this built. I've already got the core built. Only at like, <laughs> we haven't even at like entered the mid game really. We just like for 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 most people it's still the laning phase. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I'm gonna see if I can um, get the tower. Just keep doing my part here. I'll force their value to stay top lane forever. Oh, he's making a terrible mistake. <laughs> no way he's making a terrible mistake. Very nice. Okay. Let me secure all waves. If I go for the tower, then the auto, the tower's gonna auto me. I won't be able to get it. Let's go back. I'm gonna be going bot lane next, and we'll we'll absolutely destroy that part of the map now. We've got the entire top lane, so. Um, let me think. Let's go cosmic. We'll go cosmic. Cosmic is the fourth item we're gonna go for because I want like all stats that I get from this. If I have like a lot of ability, haste, slash movement speed, I can get into fights a lot better. I can position better. I can use my abilities a lot more. And they're very important right now since I'm snowballing. So cosmic fourth, for sure. Yeah, let's take some towers, man. No deal with that guy's thinking. Okay, he can get away. I'm uh, perfectly fine with this. No problem. I need like uh, 500 for Cosmic. So not that much more. And they go for a surrender. All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video, part two, actually. This time we're running the uh, Volibear matchup into this guy. And for the runes, we have the exact same stuff. Unfortunately, we do have bone plating. Uh, we do not have the second win, which is very sad, but it's all right. It's a big counter matchup. I think it's uh, safe to say that this could be the worst matchup of all time for Volibear because Realistically, there's no way I'm ever going to get close to, to her because she has uh, the ability to CC me and she has insane damage and it turns out to be like an uh, Arcan Comet version. So the only way for me to play out this matchup is by, uh, if I'm going for the AP build, is by bursting her when I hit Q. That's it. Afterwards, if I don't immediately beat her, then she's going to survive and then she's going to CC me into oblivion. This will be interesting. Okay. I'm just kind of looking for the wave here. I don't really care about going for the trait. Now, one thing that's definitely worth noting, people in general don't really pay attention to this type of stuff, but... My jungler is currently pathing into a completely different direction. So I'm going to have to play this very carefully. There's probably not much I can do. Because a ranged matchup into me is going to obliterate me. And if I have no jungler around me, then it's going to be unplayable. So I'm just going to let the wave go under my tower. Like I'm okay with that stuff. And then we'll farm it out. And then we'll see if we can slow push into her. Uh, once the next wave arrives. And then hopefully with that stuff, I can actually get item advantage, I hope. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, push this out very hard. This is a very important push, because this will get me item advantage if I do this correct. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, I'm getting ganked. That's very disappointing. Ah, I need a flash for my lane. Yeah. Unfortunately. Not only am I in a counter matchup, but I'm also getting absolutely destroyed by Wukong. That's alright, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go for a Dark Seal right there. Okay, so I'm back. Johnson, thank you so much for the 10 months resub. Thank you, man. Thank you for coming back as always, bro. Yeah, the wave is still, like, pushing into my opponent, which is very, very, very bad. Um, and she got a rep off right now. My jungler just died. And, uh, yeah, it's starting to look like a disaster. Uh, there's no way of me turning this stuff right now. She's the uh, level I had to. This might be playable after all. Okay. It's not too bad. We're in a ranged matchup. She's getting ganks. She's getting red buffs. She's killing my jungler. And I still win. That's just what uh, Valdebert can do. There you go. There it is. This champ is awesome. Uh, so let's go for... Tier 1 slash attack speeds. And then we're just going to go for more potions. I actually want to have it available, but I can't do that, so. In my dreams, we're still going to have a very bad time. We're like double the farm behind. I wonder, the only advantage we have is that we should be on the same page in terms of like XP. Like we should both be hitting level 6 uh, uh, at the same time. So I'm expecting maybe slain. to be able to turn this stuff. I don't know if he saw me, but I'm going to have to push those. Good trade. Okay. We keep pushing through him. I will dive this guy under tower right now. There you go. We are in a ranged matchup and still winning. Even when she had advantages, killing my jungler, I still win. This is the power of Oliver, man. Right here. Still winnable. Hmm. I don't know if they're going to fall for this. Oh, my jungler actually walked away. Let me tell you, if my jungler was here right now... <laughs> if my jungler canceled that backport, bro, I would have been alive. We would have had Wukong. I wouldn't lose my lane right now. It would be so good for me, actually. I uh, did not expect my jungler would reset uh, right there. Okay. I made that play based off of my jungler. If my jungler wasn't there, I would have not made this play right now. <clears throat> At least we're not losing the wave. Not that much. Let's push this. Wait, I'll keep this one standing so I can use the passive. Very good. Time to push. Maybe we can get plates. She is moving from here. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Never mind. It's even thinking about like trying to stop her from getting back to the lane. I've had that in my mind, but could maybe use the Nocturne ult. Maybe a Nocturne ult's gonna help. Really depends though. She uh, has to push forward or walk forward. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, never mind. It's not gonna work. Okay. A really solid way of, like, turning the matchup around and, like, actually start winning. A good way of doing it is by putting points into my Q. So, currently, I got four points in my W. Once I... Once I fully maxed out my W, Shut we're immediately up. going to start, like, maxing my Q. And that is going to change everything, because when you, look at, when you look at what you gain from it, you actually gain movement speed percentage uh, once you uh, use Q. So that is going to be the way. Hopefully that is the answer. Uh, I have no idea where she ran off to. It appears that she runs off to mid lane, so... It's quite disappointing that I didn't end up pushing this. I thought she was gonna reset. But I could, at the very least, like, block her from getting back to the lane. Yep, she lost the whole wave, so that's a win for me. Nice. Now I need to push this fast, because I think she's resetting. And let's grab it. Oh, she has flash? Okay. And I'm getting ganked again, by the way. Come on, please. Oh. And like one HP. Come on, man. Okay. This game's really tilting. But it's still playable. I guess I'm gonna lose plates now. Alright, let's go. Hope, uh, hopefully I don't lose too many plates here. She's going to walk away. I suppose she's going to look into resetting. Swag shot. Yeah, she's probably resetting, so I'm glad I'm pushing this. I can actually get some plates back. So will get me uh, my lead back that I that I need. Oh no, there's Wukong again. Okay, this is an unplayable game for me. I'm, I have to deal with Wukong the entire match. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to gank my lane again. Huh? He's running off to mid lane. So not what I expected. I'm just looking to wave clear this stuff so that I can get back between towers and like completely avoid the matchup. That's my idea right now. I think we can die from our tower, maybe. It's an idea. Okay. Nice. Good turn. Let's pick this up. Very good. So we still get the tower even in a counter matchup while being perma camped. It's the best thing I could wish for. Yep, reset time. We buy the Nash's Tooth and we start building into Magi and also Rabbitons. So we're gonna go for the same build. Let's go. I'm gonna start building early into Cosmic. Let's take the Kindle Gem for now. Let's go. It is time to turn this game around. Just like uh, the first game. Let's make this a crazy 1v5. 
I'm feeling very confident right now, especially because uh, it's an AP version. Which means she does a lot of damage, but she's also very easy for me to uh, to kill. For me. Let me check if she's going to walk in the, into the bush. So she is... Okay. Let's push this. There we go. Let's uh, push the next wave. And then we see if we uh, can also obtain the jungle camps. Turns out that she's actually in mid lane. That's even better for me. That means that I can probably get the whole tower. Got everything. Yep, got the whole tower. Oh, we can also take this guy too. No problem. Back in the jungle. We can buy Magi right now. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're gonna keep pushing this. Uh, get more lead. And we take that and then we go back. Yep. There we go. Now we buy Magi. Very nice. And we already start building into the next item too. I'm still buying Rabidon's first item. Like that won't change. I want to get Rabidon's as fast as possible, but I'm already start uh, I already start building into Cosmic. Um, so that I can get stronger and try and get more stacks for Magi. That's the entire idea behind everything here. So I'm just trying to push my lead as much as I can. Oh, there's jungle camps. Okay. Nice. Very, 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 very good. Because not only did I get the tower, I get two kills. I get stacks on Magi. The best part is that I can keep playing the game. I'm not even dead. So I'm just going to steal all jungle camps right now. Take that away. There you go. Look at look, look at how fat we are right now. Let's pick this up too, and then we go back. I don't even think I have to back. I don't even think so. I want to keep uh, farming for rabbitons. I think Wukong will appear. Uh, yeah, let's go reset. I guess I can I can buy this thing right now. It just <laughs> I would have to sell. Nah, I don't think I can still get it. I need to have 800 more to buy Rabbitons.
I guess I could speed run the whole tower because they're dead for like 12 seconds. Only Thresh is gone. Like, I saw their ADC on the map. Two hundred fifty. I don't need more. There's no jungle camps to take for me, so I'm just gonna wait for the wave. Then we t then we uh, take the wave. We buy the revenants. We sell the Dorn's ring. Yeah, I've got to run right now. And we officially got my item. Oh, for real? Like you can't be serious that right so she cancelled that stuff okay now we can buy it An ally has been slain. let's go uh, dragon will spawn in 50 I need my teammates to take blue I actually want to get the blue buff Will he walk forward? I don't know. I'm falling too fast. No blue here. Let's speed on tower too. Just all mid lane. And then we go Drake. I need my flash, I don't have this, but I don't think nah, I don't think I need flash. for a long time. Oh, yeah, Wukong, I guess he's gonna steal any, any second right now. Another one. I will be full build very soon if I uh, keep pushing My like this. Is of the Volior, the land the I'll steal this along with me. <laughs> A bit too early. Yep, cosmic it is. Let's go. And the last thing we go for will be Zonia. I'll just go uh, take the blue buff myself. You guys are requesting about Hallbreaker. Nah, you don't. You don't need to buy a Hallbreaker. You can, but you don't have to. Especially if you got the Rabidon's build. There are two people running to the red buff. Okay, it hit. Better sidestep the SRQs because they actually do a lot of damage. Hmm. 
man, this game is over. Hey, this is part two of Valdebert top lane. Thank you so much for watching this part two. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.